Hey everybody, it's Jessica and these are my Bantu Night results. Basically, I did them last, the night before and now I'm just going to take them all out. I'm getting some coconut oil to prepare my hands to eliminate um, some frizz and to provide some like moisture and shine. So basically, just put the coconut oil on your hands and then start taking the bobby pins out of your Bantu Night. Once that's all done, start unraveling the Bantu knots. After you unravel the Bantu knots, you want to unravel the twists themselves. After you have all your twists unraveled, you can begin to start separating the twists you have and shake them out as I'm doing in fast motion. <laughs> I didn't know what style I wanted to do. I was thinking maybe a puff straight pull back, as you can see. And I liked it, but I kind of wanted to do something else, so I'm about to take it out. <laughs> I ended up separating a front section of the hair to make a bang. Like so. And I proceeded to make the rest into a puff. This is so easy. And you can do it with a twist out or anything else. It doesn't have to be a bantu knot out. Then I had to figure out what to do with this front section. I thought about making a hump, which would have been cute. But that day, I kind of wanted it to be more laying down. So... I kind of fashioned it over to the side and then I pinned it down. Basically all it took was two bobby pins. I feel like this is kind of like something Corinne Bailey Ray would uh, like wear in her hair, so I guess you can say it's inspired by her, but I wasn't really thinking about her until now that I see it, so I don't know. But that's basically it. A really simple style from a Bantu Nut Out. Here's the back, very full, the sides, and the front. Alright guys, here it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.